What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm gonna show you how to make slime that is edible. A lot of you probably have done in school or by yourself slime from borax, I did that video as well but the problem is if kids do it and they eat it, it's toxic, they you know you don't want to eat borax. So today I'm gonna show you how to make non-toxic slime that is actually edible. Fiber powder, you can grab it, it actually makes you poop real good, so you don't want to eat it a lot. But if the kid's gonna eat it accidentally, it's okay, at least they're not gonna eat borax, right? Well, let's check this out. We're gonna grab one teaspoon of fiber powder and one cup of water. We want to mix it up all nicely. And then we're going to need microwave. Now we want to put it in the microwave and heat it up to boil. And as soon as you see it's bubbling, meaning kind of boiling, you want to turn off microwave. Now we want to put it in the microwave and wait till it starts bubbling. Pretty much heat it up to boil. I'm going to set it for two minutes and look out for it till it bubbles. When it starts bubbling, we're going to take it out mix it up and put it back in the microwave. After about two minutes, we're gonna take it out and we wanna mix it all up. Now you see it's slowly starting to thicken already. You see how it's starting to get slimy? Just make sure you mix it real nicely and we're gonna stick it for another two minutes. Now let's put it back in the microwave and save it for two minutes. Oh shit. You see what happened, if you overcook it, it's just gonna spill out all over your microwave. So don't, make sure don't let it bubble too much. Now we wanna mix it up again. And you see how it is become slimy. So now if we cool, wait till it cools off, it's gonna be like a slime. I would say for about one minute maybe, not two minutes, for the second time. So two minutes in the beginning, stir it up and then put it second time for just a minute so you just don't over spill it okay check this out i actually put it in the refrigerator for about five minutes and now let's take some out oh damn look how perfect it is this is looks so nasty and slimy and this one first one i did it didn't come out as well you see how it doesn't stick together as well so always second one after practicing always better so i put food coloring in this one green and look if i lift it up it stays all together look how crazy and yeah pretty cool right look at that slime this is like the best slime i ever made this is actually way better than borax slime oh yeah Pretty crazy, right? And again, this is non-toxic, so if kids gonna eat it accidentally, they're not gonna get hurt, you know? They might have to poop for a while, you know? But they're not gonna kill them. Like, borax might make them really, really sick. And in this one, I put only half a spoon of water. As you can see, it's a lot thicker than the other one. So I just experimented with that. You can like try out different things experiment with that and you see it's not as clear as this one and but it's a lot thicker but i like it both just come up and just slap it on somebody's face they're gonna freak out because this is disgusting and guess what if you put it together it's come back together Pretty insane. I like this one better because it's a lot clearer. And yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah, perfect. So if you wanna try, try it yourself. You might be a little messy, but guess what? It's non-toxic. That's why I like this a lot better. And you know, first one you might gonna work out that well like this. You see, first one didn't work out as well as this one. It doesn't stick to each other as well, but this one is nice. This one sticks to each other, this one as well. So if you keep turning it out and play with that, 
you're gonna get the right consistency you like. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in comments below and as always, thumbs up this video and how does it work scientifically? Explain it please and explanation, thumbs up, the best ones. Well, don't forget to subscribe to Slow Mo Lab and Taras Cool. Those are my second channels, links in the description. And check out some of my older videos, well, and I'll see you next time.